this is uh, Miguel Figueroa, the leader of the Communist Party of Canada. And uh, tonight he has agreed to uh, answer some of the now polling.ca questions. Uh, welcome to our Pacific.ca program. Well, thanks very much. Happy to be here. All right. We have a bunch of questions there, and one of them is uh, uh, foreign policy. If you click on foreign policy, you see several uh, themes there, and one of them is Afghanistan. So if you, you want to look at Afghanistan, uh, uh, you can read what some people have entered and, and tell us whether you agree with one of them, mm -hmm. or if, if not, what would you put in its place? Well, the first one is uh, we must withdraw our troops immediately, stop using aid as a tool of war, and support diplomatic negotiations with all Afghanistan parties. We agree entirely with this. Mm -hmm. We think this is an unjust uh, and illegal war, uh, a war of occupation, um, and um, it's uh, destructive to the uh, Afghan peoples. Uh, they're, they're being uh, massacred, they're, they're living in rubble, there's no real development going on. And uh, really, uh, Canada's presence and the presence of the other occupation troops is not improving the situation, it's making it worse. And the sooner they're out, the better. Good. Uh, some people think that uh, we are doing some service to the Afghan women especially, and uh, we are defending them from the evil Taliban. Uh, what, what do you, what's your answer to that uh, suggestion? Yeah. Well, of course, the irony, anybody who knows the, uh, uh, the, re the real history and the, you know, the depth of history of uh, Afghanistan will know that, uh, in fact, the Western powers uh, were the uh, financiers and uh, um, helped to arm uh, the Taliban and even some of the other uh, right-wing forces um, in the late uh, 70s and early 80s uh, to oppose the progressive government, uh, presumably on the basis of opposing so the Soviet uh, presence in Afghanistan. But there was a progressive government in Afghanistan um, that uh, came to power after the Soar Re Revolution in 1978 that, um, that uh, brought about uh, land reform uh, for the peasants. It broke uh, the, um, the, the power of the, uh, um, of the um, uh, kind of feudal elements and uh, the drug dealers and so on and so forth that uh, opened up schools for, the, uh, for, for young women to get an education and so on and so forth. And yet these elements, on both sides in fact, um, were opposed to that. And in fact, you know, all of this talk about uh, uh, the Taliban being opposed to uh, 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 women's rights. <laughs> in fact, uh, I think there's one uh, woman who was in the so-called uh, Afghan uh, uh, parliament, uh, the Karzai government in Kabul, well, who who spoke out sharply against the continuing discrimination against women, and she was thrown out. She was ejected from the parliament. That's so, right. So much, for, uh, so much for women's liberation, let's put it this way. What, uh, what do you think the real reason for uh, Canada is to be in Afghanistan right now with our soldiers? Well, ostensibly, of course, it's because we're in NATO, and it's our NATO commitment. In fact, there's a number of NATO countries that aren't, uh, are not participating militarily. You go back to foreign policy there. Okay, mm -hmm. and you see another one that says he's Israel. Israel. Okay, yeah. so let's just uh, quickly pick okay. on Israel. Sure. And you want to read uh, read what the, 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 the question is and yes. what the answer is. Expel some Israel's ambassador until a new secular state is constituted where all residents of Palestine, including Jews and non-Jews, have equal rights. Do we agree with this? Well, I... I think that the, what is presumed here is the, the idea of a one-state solution. Um, our, our party is not convinced that a one-state solution is realistic. We still so you're saying you don't agree with it? Well, no, well, let's, let's be clear. There's, there's, there's different aspects to the, to, to the statement. The first part of the statement calls for uh, expelling Israel's ambassador and breaking presumably diplomatic relations. Our party is uh, in favor of comprehensive sanctions against Israel. Israel has a long history of uh, oppression and plunder of the Palestinian people in violation of international laws, uh, 
They continue their illegal occupation of all of the territories they seized in the 67 war, not just the Palestinian, but also uh, Syrian lands, uh, you know, the, the Golan Heights. Um, um, we're in favor of breaking all diplomatic relations, commercial relations, ending the Canada-Israel free trade uh, pact, uh, and so on. However, um, um, the second part of the statement is talking about a one-party uh, solution, a one-state solution. We don't think that that's realistic. Um, we think that uh, uh, there needs to be a viable, genuinely independent Palestinian state based in the West Bank and Gaza with a continuous land mass that connects the two so that they're not uh, separated from one another, that they have w full water rights, that they have full control of their airspace, etc., 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 and also Israel. And this would create the best conditions for lasting peace in the region. If, after many years, the possibilities emerge for those two parts of historic Palestine to, um, to come together as in, a, in a secular uh, state, democratic state, with Jews and, um, and uh, Palestinian Arabs living in harmony together, this would be wonderful. But we think that the first step is to fight for the end of the occupation and the, uh, the emergence of a genuinely independent Palestinian state. So breaking breaking relations of uh, Canada and Israel is uh, you favor that. Well, until such time as as they uh, uh, until such time that they they abandon their expansionist course, uh, their uh, violations of fundamental yeah. human rights, their violations of international law. Absolutely, yes. I mean, they are uh, no uh, uh, better or worse than the apartheid uh, state in South Africa. In the in the 80s and the 70s and the 80s, and our party was one of the first to support uh, comprehensive sanctions against South Africa. Yeah. Let's go into uh, federal polls, and uh, from federal polls, let's go into uh, uh, how about uh, military? Because you touched about NATO, so click on military, and then on military you see affiliation with NATO. If you click there, mm -hmm. now you can. Uh, now, if you want to read uh, just briefly, you know, your title and uh, the first, one? first or second, uh, and one that you agree with, or if, if none of them, uh, can you briefly tell us what uh, would be your answer? Okay, so it, it reads, uh, immediately withdraw affiliation from NATO and NORAD and gradually shift support to UN peacekeeping missions. And the second is, immediately withdraw affiliation from NATO and NORAD. So, they're the basically, same, basically. Yeah, but somebody didn't like some word in No, that's, that's, that's fine. Um, well, I, I, we would agree with both of them. We uh, think that um, Canada should get out of NATO, should get out of NORAD, uh, and all aggressive military alliances. And uh, we have support for peacekeeping missions. But here, the only uh, uh, addendum that I would make is that it would be very clear that we're talking peacekeeping missions, not peacemaking missions. You know, uh, uh, genuine peacekeeping, um, um, as for instance Canada has played in, in uh, Cyprus, we, we support that role. Um, but we don't support um, the role where Canadian troops go in to impose peace. This is not peacekeeping. This is really a, a, an aggressive military position and we oppose that. Okay, great. Let's go into free trade. Do you, you want to quickly back. go back to federal polls? Federal polls, and you say uh, at the bottom, trade uh, regulations. And let's just briefly uh, see what, what do you existing. think about uh, existing or uh, North American whatever. security and prosperity. Pick one and, and, and read it and briefly tell us what do you think about it. Uh, immediately submit notice of cancellation within six months. Uh, with respect what, what was the, the theme? The, the, the FTA and NAFTA. Okay. North American. Yes, we uh, concur entirely. Um, our party has... a. a Oppose the, the free trade agreement, first of all, and then the North American uh, free trade agreement. We're also opposed to the security and prosperity partnership uh, process. All these are undermining Canadian sovereignty. And uh, we think that the question of Canadian sovereignty is a vital democratic issue. Because if, uh, if people aren't sovereign, then we can't choose our own destiny. And we think it's uh, the right of the Canadian people, like all peoples, to be able to uh, decide our own destiny. 
and to get away from this straitjacket uh, of uh, trade agreements which uh, really supersede and overrule our own sovereign parliaments and legislatures. We think it's uh, ridiculous and unacceptable. So you would uh, vote, if you were registered in this poll, you would vote for the first one? Absolutely. Now, existing uh, bilateral trade agreements, like uh, I've heard with Colombia, they're making uh, mm -hmm. one and all that. Uh, what? what uh, just read the, the... I reject corporate trade agreements uh, free from government regulations. Democratic governments must regulate trade to protect labor and the environment for the benefit of all citizens. We certainly agree with that. Um, you know, we think that, in fact, uh, Canada needs to diversify our trade relations. It's ridiculous that we have 85% of our exports going to one country, the United States. 78% of our imports come from the United States. Uh, meanwhile, Canada has... Uh, uh, very underdeveloped uh, trading relations with uh, third world countries, Africa, Latin America, uh, other countries in Asia apart from ch China. We think that, uh, uh, in fact, um, um, these uh, trade agreements, particularly the ones that Canada is involved in, like with Colombia, the proposal for the Colombia-Canada, which we think is an outrageous proposal precisely because of uh, the gross uh, violations of human rights and trade union uh, rights in, uh, in Colombia. Um, but we think these trade agreements are the wrong way to go. We need to, uh, um, we, we support trade, but it has to be based on, on uh, uh, mutual respect. It has to be based on also um, uh, respect for the best interests of our environment and of uh, labor rights. Uh, federal polls, and if you go to uh, electoral issues, second from the top, and then it's, uh, click on term of office, Mm -hmm. And if you want to read that, uh, the title, the best term of office to increase M MPs accountability is, and you choose one or tell us what would be your choice. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure that we necessarily uh, c concur with uh, any of these proposals. Okay. What, what would be your proposal? Well, first of all, we think that uh, we support uh, uh, universal franchise. It's, there should be elections. We also support, however, the right of recall. We think that that's a basic democratic. Uh, but this reform. this uh, this particular one is referring to the term of office, the yes. length that a politician is elected to serve for. So yeah. uh, you don't agree with the one year, two years, three years, four years, no term. What is your choice? Well. You know, there is a movement towards having fixed terms, and in, in BC there already is fixed terms. Now federally, they're 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 uh, imposing this American-style uh, system. Um, but wh whatever term it is, if it's four years or three years, we would favor probably more frequent uh, uh, or shorter terms. One Say, year? Well, two years. I don't know if it's practical for federal elections. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm thinking federally now, to have, to have them every year. Um, we certainly supported uh, or opposed, let's put it this way, opposed the changes municipally. We think that governments that are the closest to the people, like municipal governments, they should be elected on a, on a regular basis. Once regular? A year, once, once a year? year once a year. Okay. Um, so municipal could be once a year, but federal should be four years? Well, maybe three years, three, whatever. But... Uh, but with the right, the democratic right of recall at any time, mm -hmm. if uh, a, m a member of parliament uh, violates the trust of um, of the uh, electorate that uh, you know that brought him into or her into office, then um, the people should have the right of recall. We support that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go back to electoral po electoral issues, yes. then you you have uh, the the majority uh, says uh, uh, official majority, the third one from the top official majority, and that is what represents majority. Is it uh, proportionality of a party? Is it uh, uh, first past the post as we have right now, which is, uh, could be 25%, but if that is the, 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 the most votes that a politician has, or is it 50% uh, uh, plus one, which is uh, the, the most uh, ordinary way of uh, measuring as a threshold for majority? So what is majority? Oh, well, yes. I mean, we're in favor of, of full proportional representation um, and uh, with, a, with an extremely low uh, threshold. Uh, in other words, like for instance, in some countries they have proportional representation, but they set a very high threshold of, let's say, 5% or 6%. 
like in Chile, for instance, uh, and it makes it very difficult for uh, smaller parties to, to get any seats at all in the, uh, in the parliament. So we think the threshold should be low, um, uh, it should be fully proportional, and then if any one party doesn't have a majority, well, that means they have to work uh, for a coalition with other forces uh, or maybe operate on the basis of a minority government. But um, the, um, a, a fallback position is this proposal for a mixed, you know, a mixed uh, pro MPP. Uh, MPP. Or MMP. 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 Well, where, where you have yeah, some, some proportional seats set aside for proportional uh, representation and other seats for election by constituency, in other words, local elections as we have now. Well, this would be an improvement over the, the current first-past-the-post system. It's not, uh, um, it's not the ideal that we say we think that uh, a full, like South Africa, for instance, is a full proportional representation system, uh, but uh, it would be an advance for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, there is another uh, issue on uh, electoral reform, uh, the last one, and it's uh, is about, uh, if you check there, it's uh, financing elections. And I think that's another very interesting issue to, to explore because uh, mm -hmm. uh, some, some uh, candidates win according to how much money was invested in their uh, campaign. So uh, do you think that should be also considered? Well, well, certainly. I mean, our, our party has been very involved in this. Uh, we, um, uh, together with other smaller parties, uh, launched a, a court challenge because the current system uh, gives a dollar seventy-five, you know, as a cost of living index, but a dollar seventy-five per vote, but only to the big parties. Uh, smaller parties uh, who receive under 2% of the national votes uh, get nothing, get peanuts, not, not even peanuts, get absolutely zero. Uh, we also think it's discriminatory against small parties, and so we would favor a complete uh, uh, overhauling of this uh, system. So will you, uh, in your spare time, because now you're busy, you're, you're going to be flying to Calgary soon, and, uh, but when you have time, will you go to nowpolling.ca and register and enter in, in this uh, particular issue? Absolutely. In uh, less than 20 words, what your, uh, your idea of uh, financing electoral campaigns should be? Well, we'll well, I'll go and answer all the questions and indicate where, where I stand on all these questions. All right. The, folks, that was Miguel Figueroa from Toronto, the leader of the Communist Party, who uh, is going to uh, uh, go to nowpolling.ca, register, and vote on all our questions. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you. All Pleasure. Right. <laughs> so it, it will be...